it's about 10 after three, our room's not ready. I just left our bags with uh, Bell Services out front there. They're gonna bring them to our room when it's ready. We're gonna get some food. So we'll check that out and uh, let Lauren sleep in the stroller and then get a game plan for the night. All right, we are all checked into our family suite, our Finding Nemo family suite here at Art of Animation. We have stayed here before in the Little Mermaid rooms, but never in a family suite. So we are really excited to give it a try um, staying over here. The thing I like about the Finding Nemo suites is they're very central to the lobby, the buses, the food court, also the Skyliner and the main pool is like right outside of our building here. So um, we're on the fourth floor here in a Finding Nemo suite. So I'll give you a little look around. Don't mind our electronics charging over here, but um, these rooms do sleep six people plus one under three. So when you walk in, there's this dining table here and this Murphy bed will pull down and sleep two. And then there's the two end tables there. And then as you move around, straight ahead is the living room. And this couch pulls out to sleep two over here and your kitchenette is over here. The kitchenette does include a microwave, mini fridge, sink, air, like a separate sink area, coffee maker, and they do give you some utensils, cups, plates, that sort of thing over here. So from where I showed you right here with the dining area that turns into a bed, if you were to have turned left, this is the first bathroom. There's two bathrooms in the family suites here at Art of Animation. So this is the first one, very themed to the whole Nemo movie here. Only a single sink over there. And the rest of the living room here, um, really nice big TV with a full like dresser. So you can really like unpack for a week here. And this is also like storage here. Um, with like a closet area, extra pillow and blankets. It's really pretty right now because the sun is sitting outside. We have a view of Pop Century across the way. No balconies um, from these rooms, but they do have interior hallways, which is different from the Little Mermaid rooms or Pop Century or the All Stars. It's a value, but they have the interior hallways. So then if you were to come around to the bedroom here, we already have our suitcases underneath here, but you can store the suitcases underneath. This is the only actual bed. I mean, the bed above the dining room table is a bed, but this is like always a bed, if that makes sense. Um, so then we have the bed and another TV. So it is nice that you get two TVs if the kids want to watch one thing and mom and dad want to watch something else. Another full dresser, so plenty of storage is always nice. Another big window. Again, we have a view of Pop Century over there. And then if you look from this angle, here is the other bathroom. And I really love this bathroom. It's a really nice walk-in shower. So you do get a tub in the other bathroom. This one just has the shower, but it's just really nice as a family of five to have two completely separate bathroom areas and one especially dedicated to mom and dad's room in here. So what's nice about this room for us is we will be able to put Lauren to bed and there's plenty of extra floor space to set up a crib or a pack and play over here which we're, we have to call and request that, but there's plenty of space to put her to bed and kind of close the door. And then we can come hang out over here um, with Addie and Emma while the baby goes to bed early. The Finding Nemo section is definitely the most central area to the resort here at Art of Animation. Right outside of your room, you're gonna find the big blue pool, the splash pad, and also this nice big playground that's very, themed to Finding Nemo here. My kids really loved playing on this, but it is also central to the main building, the buses, the lobby, the food court, the front desk, everything that you need at your fingertips. The splash pad here is really nice. It's 
really different from other value resorts that have like tiny little splash pad areas. This one is nice and big. There's plenty of room for the kids to all kind of have their own little area to play in. The splash pad is also directly next to the big blue pool, which is the largest pool on Disney property. And it is also zero entry. So this honestly is just perfect for a toddler in general to go back and forth between the zero entry pool, back over to the splash pad, they're right next to each other. It works out really nice. If you have a Cars lover in your family, it's totally worth staying over here in this section instead of the Finding Nemo area. Worth it to be a little farther away and not essential to everything just to be in this like fully immersive experience. My one thing about Art of Animation Family Suites is they are not really a value price. They really are more so like a moderate to deluxe price, but they really do work well for certain family sizes. What do you think, Al? Oh, she's already. She's going down. There's Adam. So the kids got tubs. We got the baby down and uh, <clears throat> she's getting settled for the night. We're going to uh, go to Beach Club tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I got it right. We're going to Beach Club in Hollywood tomorrow. So we'll see you guys there.